Meta is working on a new AI project that has the potential to revolutionize the field of artificial intelligence. This new model is said to be so powerful that it could outperform GPT-4, the best generation of large language models from OpenAI. But what exactly is Meta's new AI project? What makes it so special? And what impact could it have on the world? Stay tuned till the end to know more about it. Meta's new AI project is a multi-model model, meaning that it can process and generate text, images, and other types of data. This makes it much more versatile than previous AI models, which were typically limited to text or images alone. The model is also trained on a massive data set of text and code, which gives it a deep understanding of the world. This allows it to perform a wide range of tasks, including generating realistic and engaging text, such as news articles, poems, and code, translating languages, answering questions in a comprehensive and informative way, creating new images and videos. One of the things that makes Meta's new AI project so special is its size and complexity. The model has over 100 trillion parameters, which is more than any other AI model in the world. This gives it a significant advantage over other models in terms of performance and capabilities. Another thing that makes Meta's new AI project so special is its focus on multimodal learning. This allows the model to learn from different types of data, which gives it a better understanding of the world. Meta claims that this new model will be able to exhibit human-level performance on various professional and academic benchmarks, such as passing a simulated bar exam or a biology olympiad. This is a significant achievement, as previous AI models have struggled to match human performance on these tasks. One of the key factors in Meta's success is its massive investment in hardware and infrastructure. The company has recently acquired a large number of NVIDIA Age 100 AI training chips, which are designed specifically for training large-scale AI models. These chips are faster and more efficient than those used by OpenAI for GPT-4. Meta has also built new data centers around the world to host these chips and provide enough computing power for the AI project. Another important factor is Meta's transition from Microsoft's Azure Cloud Platform to its own infrastructure for AI training. This gives them more control over their data and resources. The latest AI development by Meta, Llama 2, is a product of an unlikely collaboration between Meta and Microsoft. Llama 2 is a large language model that has been trained on 2 trillion tokens and has a double context length compared to the original Llama. However, Meta is also developing their own AI model in-house, with the help of Microsoft. You might be wondering why Meta released Llama 2 then. However, Llama 2 comes with a twist. It's the result of an uncommon collaboration between Meta and Microsoft, whereas the new model Meta is working on will be entirely developed in-house, using their own infrastructure. Now, let's dive into the motivations behind Meta's decision to release Llama 2 while concurrently working on a superior model. There are several plausible reasons for this move. Firstly, it could be an assertion of Meta's commitment to open-source initiatives and a demonstration of their dedication to cross-collaboration within the AI community. Secondly, it might serve as a means for Meta to gather valuable feedback from developers and researchers who are utilizing Llama 2 for various applications. Now, here's a thought. Could Meta's decision also be driven by a desire to generate anticipation and buzz around their upcoming model by providing a glimpse of their AI capabilities? After all, earlier this year, Meta assembled a team dedicated to crafting AI tools capable of mimicking human expressions. This team comprises experts in natural language processing, computer vision, speech recognition, and generative adversarial networks. Their overarching goal is to design AI systems that can comprehend and generate natural language in various formats, including text, images, audio, and video. This chatbot lets Instagram users do a lot of different things. It can interact with people who visit your profile by suggesting products, collecting information about potential customers, giving discounts, and helping with customer questions. What's interesting is that you can even change its personality to match your brand, which makes it easier for people to connect with. All of these features fit into Meta's bigger plan to build the metaverse, the digital world where people can interact with each other and online content in a way that feels like real life. Meta sees AI as a key part of how digital experiences in the metaverse are made and changed. 
they think it'll be the next big thing in social media, shopping, entertainment, and learning. Now, let's talk about open sourcing, which is one of the most controversial parts of Meta's new AI project. Meta has said that they plan to make their new model open source, which means that anyone can use it for research or business. With this move, anyone can use the model without paying Meta. It's a big change from the usual way of keeping big AI models secret or putting limits on how they can be used. Mark Zuckerberg, who is in charge of Meta, says that this decision is meant to make AI more creative and open to everyone. He hopes that if they share their model, it'll help more people and encourage AI creators to work together and compete in a healthy way. He also thinks it'll make AI more open and trustworthy, which will encourage people to use it in a responsible way. How might the open sourcing of Meta's AI model affect the AI community as a whole and speed up the development of AI-powered apps in different fields? The real reason might be that making the AI model open source allows experts from all over the world to contribute to it. This not only makes Meta's name better, but it also makes it possible for a growing number of tools and services. This, in turn, can open up new ways to make money. Also, having more people use the model can boost the company's reputation and lead to possible partnership. Apple and Equal AI recently published a paper in which they propose a new method for streamlining the transformer architecture without sacrificing performance. Transformers are a type of machine learning model that has become very popular in recent years, especially for natural language processing or NLP tasks, such as machine translation. Transformers are known for their scalability and ability to achieve state-of-the-art results on a variety of NLP benchmarks. However, one of the drawbacks of transformers is that they can be computationally expensive to train and deploy. Their method focuses on the feedforward network, or FFN, which is an important component of the transformer architecture. The FFN is a natural network that is used to extract long-range dependencies in sequential data. Apple and Equal AI showed that they could significantly reduce the number of parameters in the FFN without sacrificing performance. In fact, their streamlined transformer model even outperformed the original transformer model on some NLP benchmarks. This research is significant because it could make transformer models more accessible to a wider range of users. For example, smaller and more efficient transformer models could be deployed on mobile devices or on edge devices, which could enable new and innovative NLP applications. Apple and Equal AI have found a way to make transformer models more efficient and accurate. They could make these models more accessible to a wider range of users and could lead to new and innovative NLP applications. In short, the feedforward network, or FFN, is a crucial component of the transformer architecture, but it is also redundant and computationally expensive. Researchers have discovered that they can optimize the FFN by sharing it across all encoder layers and adjusting its hidden dimension. This makes transformer models more efficient and user-friendly, opening up the door to new applications. In my own words, the FFN is like a brain cell that helps the transformer understand the meaning of words and sentences. However, the FFN is not very efficient and it takes a lot of energy to use. Researchers have found a way to make the FFN more efficient by sharing it among all the brain cells in the transformer. This allows the transformer to use less energy and understand language more quickly. This research is important because it makes transformer models more accessible to a wider range of people and applications. For example, transformer models can be used to translate languages, write different kinds of creative content, and answer your questions in an informative way. By making transformer models more efficient, researchers are opening up new possibilities for how we can use language technology. What do you think of Meta's next-gen AI and Apple's NLP breakthrough? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more AI news and updates. Thanks for watching.